Good evening, dear listeners. This is Glorious Life Gospel Radio FM 90.0. I am Pastor Ade Isidore, welcoming you to this frequency FM 90.0 for our program on the godly politician. The Lord has been good to us that despite what we are generally going through, the political crisis, we are able to be on this frequency this evening to look into the word of the Lord from which we will be directed politically and uh, be guided on how to pray for what we are commonly facing. So we want to say God bless you for coming on this frequency this evening. Stay tuned and let our hearts be opened for the Lord to touch us and take us to where he wants us to be. Let us pray. King of glory, Heavenly Father, loving God, we worship you this evening. We have seen your goodness. We have seen your kindness. We have seen your protection. We have seen many good things that you have done for us. We cannot hold it, Lord, but to thank you, to give you all the glory because nothing physical or human can sustain our lives but you. We give you all the praise. We also thank you for bringing us on this frequency this evening so that we can study your word together, elevate our spirits, Lord, and intercede for our land. We are continuing to cry out to you, Lord, for what we are going through. It is painful. It has kept our children out of school. It has kept many of us in the bushes, some in prison, and some have entered their graves untimely because of this crisis. And we are continuing to cry out to you because you alone can deliver us out of this calamity. You alone, O oh God, can move things to work for the favor of the people of this land. Papa, we ask that through this program this evening, your grace will flow, comfort your people as we are going through this moment of pain, inspire your people through these programs, raise a new generation of politicians, oh my father, even the old generation and the present one, we pray that may these programs move them to repentance, oh God. May these programs move them to where they will humble to you, repent of their sins and be born again of water and spirit. Papa, we ask that you use this program tonight even to a dimension that we cannot imagine. Have your way and let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Papa and Mama Dem, once again, on a good evening. Na Glorious Life Gospel Radio this, and me, I be Pastor Ade Isidore. Will you continue our program this evening on the godly politician? Today, we got the study on politicians with good names. Politicians with good names. By good names, we mean legacies. Legacies. Now, what did that will mean by good names? A legacy. Now, what the way future generations they will remember you for? When we talk about a good name or legacy in this context, we did talk now about wait to wait subsequent generations, future generations, they will remember you for. Yes. Inside Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1, we read, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. We see them for here. The word of God, it talks, say, forget a good name. We mean, say, forget a good legacy. It be rather to be chosen than great riches. Common temptation. It did, they say, when people, they get into politics, they, they wonder for amass wealth, make money, make name, 
become famous. But the word of God, it did tell with the contrary. Proverbs 22 verse 1. It talks say a good name. We mean say a good legacy is rather to be chosen than great riches. Now so Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1. He also reads a, a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. You, we see here about the good name. Say it be better than precious ointment. It is still talk now say than say me you get money, power, fame. You get motor them, get houses, get this and that. It better me you get na good name. Yes, keep a good legacy where future generations they go remember you for. If future generations they remember you because of your big big houses, that one no get any impact. If future generations they remember you, say you be married ten women, that one no get any impact. If future generations they remember you for evil things the way you be do. It may be you be past decree they made they kill people. That one you no get any good impact on people. But Bible say a good name, a good name, a good legacy, a good legacy. That is you be somebody where future generations when they hear about you, they they smile. Everybody, when they hear about Jesus Christ, they smile. When they hear about Abraham in the Bible, they smile. You know, a good spiritual environment to be created. Until you hear people, they sing, say, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Why? Because Abraham, he be keep a good legacy. We go to see more about Abraham inside the lesson. So, wait a while, don't just talk. Now, for explain Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1 where it talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1 it talks say a good name is better than precious ointment. So in this particular context would the talk now say our politician them they give for consider keeping a good name. They give for consider keeping a good legacy so that future generations they go hear your name their skin go define. May not be said they go hear your name be terrified. May they not hear your name, may they like say they mention Osama bin Laden inside America. We all will know how a 9-11. Now they were the frightened Americans. Now they were Osama bin Laden be bomb World Trade Center. We know how a Osama bin Laden be dribble America. They be take very long before they apprehend you. Inside America, when you mention Osama bin Laden, they de shake because now somebody will be terrorize them. Would he talk say by this lesson, may our politician them, may they prepare for themselves, may they build for themselves good names. We mean say good legacies. May future generations remember them for years. Build a legacy. Build a name where tomorrow our picking them in the future they go like for bear your name. Yes. May your name you not know, become a name like Bin Laden where people they go to fear for better. Build a legacy, build a name with the future generations them. They go like for better. With the feet even sing for song like how I don't just sing Abraham's blessings are mine. 
Abraham's blessings are mine. You know, when would you sing this song so everybody they get smile for your face? Now, because of the legacy where Papa Abraham, he be keep him. I be here. Somebody tell some president, say, make you consider the kind legacy where he go keep him. Make it consider what the way future generations go remember you for. It will be a very good advice when this man began to the president what they talk about. It be ask him, say, now which kind of legacy you want for keep him? Consider him. You see, that man, I don't know the understanding of scripture, but it be advised that president very correctly because the Bible talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Yes, if you be a politician, forget about that money, forget about wealth, forget about houses, cars, and so on. Get a good name because your name will live on from generation to generation. People that go to hear about you. Keep a name, keep a legacy with the few remember you day. Relate with God and man in a manner where people they will remember you for your good life toward God and toward man. Yes, live a life where it favor human beings. Live a life where it impact people positively. Live a life where it prove the fear of God and respect for human rights. You go keep a legacy where future generations they go remember you day. We clearly ask politicians they say, waity. The next generations go remember you for years. We get political figures in the world, such as Adolf Hitler, Nelson Mandela, Mobutu Seseko, Idi Amin, Kofi Annan, and so on. When you hear some of these name them, huh, you did dream bad dream. <laughs> When you hear some of the name they saw, you will be terrified. You will dream bad dream when you hear some of the name them. And some of the name them are the one the way when you hear them, they will gladden your heart. You see? They will make you feel fine when you hear of some of these uh, political figures them in the world. When you hear their names, your heart is glad. You will feel fine. And some people, they even put the names of some of these politicians them for they are picking them. Some people they bear the names of these world politicians. Then. Why? Because of the good legacy where they be keep them. But those ones away when people hear that they dream bad dreams. When people hear fear they grip them. They no fit carry that kind of name then again for their picking them. Why? Because of the bad legacy then. With these people then. They don't keep them. You see, this program this night. We really want to address our politician them and we give for pray for them. You know, when we look even very close to us, we did think of some political figure them. Ma mention somebody like Ma Papa Wena from Angwa for from Magon. Some people like Ni John Fundi, John Gu Foncha, Simon Achidiachu, Young Philemon, Atangan Paul. When you hear the name them, now, wait till they come to your mind. How you feel? We'll pray and I say these people go build legacy. They go build a name with future generations. They go remember them for good. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Inside the program, we go to pray. Say people with the already day inside politics, even this our own people, the one don't mention and so may they build a name, may they build legacy where in the future people they go like for name they are picking they say Atanganji. May our politician they build a name where tomorrow somebody go like for name you picking say Achidiachu or Ni John Frundi or Anye Solomon. When a name for my phone, we pray on the program. Now say our politician they go consider a good name. May they no consider na money, 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 house, uh, fame, popularity, 
woman them and so on proverbs 22 verse 1 a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches yes i talk again say by this program we want for help our politician them May they know the greatest and godly achievement the way a politician fit for get them. No be money, na good name, na good legacy. Wait till future generations they go remember you for. Satan, he don't really deceive plenty politician then. He make and they did the fight for power. They fight for things the way they go rather dirty their name them. Politician, they rather fight for things the way future generation. When they go hear about their name, they go be terrified. Now, so Satan, it the mess up with politicians. But we they pray through this lesson, hey, we they pray, may God open the eyes of our politician then. May open their eyes. May they not say, these material things, things like money, fame, motto, house, and so on. Power, power. For they on top they command things carelessly. That one na zero. Make a good name. Toward God and toward man. Leave a mark. Wait tomorrow. Generations away they hear about you. Hey, they go to smile. They go call your name for some place. People they give fresh air around them. They call your name for some place. Oh, people they, they, they relax. No build a name way. When people they go here. They will dream bad dreams. Build a name way. I will pick in them tomorrow. They will like for bear your name. They will like for identify with you. Yes. I don't hear kind kind song then. They will sing I'm about Nelson Mandela. I don't hear people that they bear Mandela. I don't hear people that they wear t-shirts. Close them with Nelson Mandela. You picture day on top. I even hear say well Mandela's day. A day. Ha -ha. Now because say, this man If he do some things The way people They be blessed So he be keep a legacy Now we pray I say through this program The eyes of our politician They go clear They go clear May they no waiting for, for, for achieve them In their political career Then May they not follow Satan Yes May they not follow Satan May they follow way The way the word of God They talk A good name Is rather to be chosen than great riches. The Bible. Proverbs 22 verse 1. And Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen. We get for read the Bible. Again inside Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. We go see some figure there inside the Bible. Where they go help we for understand. The idea. We would actually bring them out from the scriptures this evening. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, he read, The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. When you hear about these two patriarchs, these two papadim for the people of Israel, Abraham and David, they come inside the first chapter and the first verse of the book of Matthew. Matthew, the one for write about the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. He immediately introduced the story of Jesus Christ, mentioning David and Abraham. Why? Because Abraham and David, they be keep a good legacy. Now, why that way? Even the Savior of the world, he identify, he identify. With these great people, Abraham and David. Yes. No look something inside Abraham, your legacy. When we read Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1, it tells we say, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make thee, I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. More consider some things for here. Some very key statement the day here. God tell Abraham, say, I will take you to a land. 
He tell Abraham, say, I will make of thee a great nation. And he tell you again, say, I will bless thee and make thy name great. I will make thy name great. And he say, and thou shalt be a blessing. You see, God be promised for make Abraham in name may be great. I sure say a good number of us we will listen to this program this evening in one occasion or the other. We don't sing that song say Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. Blessed in the evening, Abraham's blessings are mine. If Abraham, it be been at the Pharaoh of Egypt, will not fit talk say, Pharaoh's blessings are mine. Because when people, especially the Israelites, when they hear about Pharaoh, hey, they did think of the enemy where the one buried them. Will be one destroy their future, destroy their covenant where they begin with God. But you see, everybody they identify with Abraham because he be keep a good legacy. Yes, we get three major religions in the world. Where all of them they hold Abraham in very high esteem. They identify with Abraham. In fact, when you talk about Abraham, these people, them, a, 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 a good spiritual atmosphere, it will come over them. You get the Israelites. You get the Muslims. You get the Christians. These three religious groups, then, when you mention Abraham, good air, good spiritual air, it will pass around the people, them. Even though, the Israelites and the Muslims, they don't fully get into the blessings of Abraham because they don't reject Jesus as Yahweh come in flesh. You see, but they hold Abraham in very high esteem. The promises where God began through Abraham, they hold him at the primary level. But at the point of fulfillment, they fall out. But wait what the talk now say Abraham now a very good figure, a good father. God make of ye a great nation, and God he make Abraham a blessing to the whole world. Yes. Now a father of both physical and spiritual kingdom. Abraham be suffer hunger. He be leave ye country, leave ye family, he go through challenges only for keep a good legacy. For you picking them, Abraham be obey God. He be be ready for sacrifice. If one and only promised son will be get him at the age of one hundred. He be be ready for sacrifice him only because he be one for keep a legacy, and Abraham keep him today. Everybody he like for identify with Abraham. Yes, Abraham. He hand to the Israelites the land of promise. The land where the Israelites they did it today at the Middle East. Israelites they cherish that land so much. Even though the world, you know, like the fact say Israelites they day in that land. You see? But Israelites them, they fight over that land. They enjoy that land. They not say that their inheritance. They not say that their heritage. It come to them through their papa Abraham. When means say Abraham, it be give them legacy. It be give them something with the member ye day. Abraham be teach the Israelites how for obey God when at the secret of blessings. Now legacy that will be keep him. When Abraham on Mount Moriah, he be lift up the knife for sacrifice Isaac. He teach all you picking them how for obey God. Now good legacy that for teach your picking them for be an example of how people get for obey God. Now, good legacy that Jesus Christ will be crucified on Calvary as Abraham will be willing to forgive Isaac. So, Jesus Christ will it be, be the son of Abraham, where Isaac be the point to, it will be sacrificed on Calvary. And the blessings of salvation don't come to all of us. This principle of obedience, when Jesus be talked for Gethsemane, he said, Father, not my will, but yours be done. 
this obedience it come from Abraham where Abraham he had been heavy for for offer Isaac but he talked said God if now you don't ask him I go give you Abraham teach you picking them how for obey God and at the basis that on which salvation don't come to the world he keep a legacy yes teach you picking them obedience to God so now why that way today we see say Abraham be keep a good name a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Yes. Remember, say inside Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, Abraham and David, they be mentioned. Because that two great figures that this inside Israel where they be keep wonderful legacy. So much where they tie the two of them with Jesus Christ. In the first verse of the first chapter of the book of Matthew, May we look now at King David, your legacy. King David, now the second king of Israel, where he be take over from King Saul. King Saul no be keep any good legacy. King Saul be be an oppressor. He be be a disobedient person to God. He be be a manipulator. He be be a dictator. He no keep any good legacy. If King Saul, he be be now a good king. Oh, like inside Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 where we read about the patriarchs, we for here now say the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of Saul, the son of Abraham. Now wait that word for here. But we inside here now say the son of David, the son of Abraham. Because King Saul will be the first king of Israel, it be strong hate for God. Very stubborn. When God give instruction, he go do different one. When God says stand for here, he do different thing. He be oppressed Israelites. You see, marginalize the poor. He be be a very covetous man. So he no be keep any good legacy. History no remember ye for any good thing. But now King David he come after King Saul. He keep a very good legacy. May we read them. Inside First Chronicles, chapter 17 from verse 1, we read, say, Now it came to pass, as David sat in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Lo, I dwell in an house of cedar, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord remained on the curtains. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in thine heart, for God is with thee. And it came to pass the same night that the word of God came to Nathan saying, I go skip some verses, go for verse 7. Now therefore, thus shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep court, even from following the sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler over my people Israel. And I have been with thee. Whithersoever thou hast walked. And have cut off all thine enemies from before thee. And have made thee a name. Like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel. And will plant them. And they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover, I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore, I tell thee that the Lord will build thee an house and it shall come to pass when thy days be expired that thou must go to be with thy fathers that I will raise up thy seed after thee which shall be of thy sons and I will establish his kingdom he shall build me an house I will establish his throne forever I will be his father and he shall be my son. I will not take my mercy away from him. 
as I took it from him that was before thee. But I will settle him in mine house and in my kingdom forever. And his throne shall be established forevermore. What a beautiful passage. We did look now at the legacy of King David. The legacy of King David. King David be served God and the people of Israel faithfully. Yes. Even though David, at some point, he be sinned against God, but David also be, be very humble for repent. King David no be there like King Saul. When, when he sin, prophet, they can't point out his sin. He only argue, only argue, only argue. His strong hate so they enter grave. Where he no repent. You know how they used to talk, say, fly away, near the year, shh. He go here, bam. King Saul, prophet be the one ye. Prophet go tell he say, amend your ways with God. He no go amend your ways. Prophet Samuel tell he say, obedience is better than sacrifice. King Saul know the year. Samuel tell he say, know the put yoke on top of the people. King Saul in the year. He the only be stubborn to God and then maltreat the people and he die when no repent. King David be equally seen against God, but the difference between he and Saul now say, he be, be a king. Where when you sin don't be exposed, he go be humble and he go repent. Now the good thing that about David. And God be like he because he did repent. King David, he be initiate the building of the Jewish temple. The thing be find God plenty, but God be tell David, say, leave him. And before this temple where David be one for Bilam, David now he be find Goliath, even when he be, be very small. No be even when he be don't become king. He fight the enemy of Israel, restore the boundaries of Israel as God began. David be don't always be put the life at risk for protect Israel when I got the people them. And as something where God be over like him. For see a man like David where he did do everything for protect the people Israel. Oh, when a king, he fear God and the king, he did fight for the peace of the people, for the interest and well-being of the people, that man did be a man after God his own heart. That kind of king, he did be a king after God his own heart. We the praise this our president they go be the one the way they fear God and they did work hard for the interest of the people. Now the two key points that that way they impress God in a political leader. We we'll don't talk about these two main things them inside most of the lesson they will run them on politics and religion. Say two things a day where they make a political leader make it get the favor of God. That person gave for fear God, submit, they under God the authority. Where God feel tell he say stop, make it stop. God tell he say move, he move. He must fear God. And he must be somebody where he protect human beings, their rights. He no marginalize the people. He no covet the things of the people for enjoy and for himself. He no oppress the people. That kind of kingdom God like and plenty. So King David, even from time when nobody don't become king, it will be somebody where he go risky life, fight for protect the people of Israel. So this thing that will make him God be over like David. And then at the time where David be don't old, David, he be one for build God a house, the temple. He be one for move the ark of God from under tent, for put them inside a magnificent building. But God tell you, say, no worry, my servant. You be about for meet your fathers. You go expire soon. You go die soon. No worry. I go raise your Pekin. With your Pekin, he go build me the temple. And I go establish your Pekin, your throne forever. Wait the way God be the talk now say, David, wait the way you know be do and finish them. Because of your good service to me and my people, the dynasty of Israel, it will remain for your family. Your Pekin, it go climb for throne. And your Pekin, I go establish it forever. Your Pekin, now ye go build that temple for me. I go be with ye, I go bless ye, and it go do am. 
And the picking for David where he be immediately come to the throne. Now King Solomon. And King Solomon he be built the temple. But more to that, King Solomon he be, be a type of Jesus Christ in this sense. Because this particular prophecy inside this particular passage for here where God be the talk say he go establish David the picking the throne forever. The writer of the book of Hebrews in the New Testament he quote this particular prophecies. It start attribute them to Jesus Christ. Say Jesus Christ will be the son of David, where he go build the spiritual temple of God, and now he go sit on the throne of David forever. Now, why that way? The Bible called Jesus say be the son of David. Now, why that way? The Bible talks say Jesus be the lion of the tribe of Judah, because both David and Jesus now from the tribe of Judah. So the dynasty of Israel it will remain. With David, the family, and with the tribe of Judah, because David be served God well. Yes. Now, why that way, Matthew, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, in talking about the generation of Jesus Christ, he mentioned David and Abraham. Inside the first verse of Matthew chapter 1. Because David be keep a good legacy. David, ye and Abraham, they keep good legacy yes if david here yeah, abraham no be keep a good legacy history no for remember them for any good thing when you go for israel today talk about abraham oh like i don't talk a good spiritual atmosphere will come on everybody when you did talk about their papa abraham when you go for israel today you did talk about king david a good spiritual atmosphere. It will come on everybody. Because it will keep a good legacy. When you look at the flag. The national flag of Israel today. It get a star. They call them say, the star of David. All those things that they point to this papa for Israel. David. The legacy. Where he keep him. You name. You know the frightened Israelites. Abraham in name. You know the frightened Israelites. Moses in name. You know the frightened Israelites. Joshua, you name. You know the frightened Israelites. But when you start read names like Ahab, hey, King Ahab, now that kind of kingdom for Israel where they be bring in idolatry in the land. They be go carry evil women, bring them. Women where they sleep with all government officials. Pervert the king. The king now install strange gods in the land. Until Elijah began to fight in a fight with prophets of Baal for bring back the knowledge and faith in the one God of Israel because of King Ahab. When you read that kind of name there for Israel, Ahab, now they kind of name they that way, they know they like for really the hear because the, these people they know they keep any good legacy for Israel. With the talk say a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Now Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1 talk. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 1. It say a good name is better than precious ointment. Good name where you live on for subsequent generations. Now big achievement as a politician. Yes. For keep a good name. Now big achievement. You must keep a legacy. Consider the kind of legacy where you want to keep up. Generations to come, when they hear your name, they will remember saying that you be talking to me, they kill people, them when they sleep, sleep for street. Say people, they be go prison, so now you. People, they be, they be born people, their villages, their soul, now you. You know if they keep that kind of name? Now which kind of name that? When you keep that kind of name, you will curse yourself and you will curse your family. Because you're picking them, no go no who side for put their head. You're picking them, they go run, go on exile. Go stay for other places because if they day back in this land, hey, hey, anybody go see them say, now they picking them this for so so and so person will be shed blood. You know if you keep that kind of legacy for your picking them, you know if you curse your generations to come, you are picking them to come. No put a bad name on them. That one go be a limitation. Where you put them on your picking them. You see? No be a politician where you know if you go back to your village. 
No be a politician where you no feel stay with your people. No be a politician where your people they no feel celebrate your greatness. No be a politician where your people they the shame for identify with you. Be a politician where when your name be heard, people they the rejoice gladness. Be a politician where picking the way they the burn them. Their parents they go like for take your name game to that picking them. I, I see they uh, erect monuments for some politician them. You know, we Christians will be very skeptical with such things like monuments and so on. But when you just talk, say, people them, they secularly do that kind of thing them for honor some people the way they will do very good things. Be a politician where people go like for see even your picture. Be a politician where people go like for she don't talk about you. When they, they talk about you, make they be glad. Be a politician where your deeds, your story go inspire people for do good things. You see, be a politician where for evening, parents they feel gather they are picking them, one tell them stories, mention your name. As the last discussion of the day, they mention your name, talk about you, so take that picking they go sleep, dream fine. You know how they talk so because some politician the day way, if you discuss about them to your picking them, your picking they will go sleep, dream bad dream. And he talk say some politician they they way if you talk to your picking them about them you are picking they go sleep dream by dream because their deeds they be evil money will be meant for the whole community they they take and send their picking them they abroad take and build their big big mansion then they buy their motor them then crush everybody cause on one day they they die imprison people the way they try for rival them you see that kind of politician, they don't get any good legacy. But the word of God talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. A good name is better than precious ointments. Have a good name. Build a good legacy. Yes. Build a good legacy. Now, the greatest achievement that way a politician, if it forget them, say you keep a good name. You keep a good name. I want to talk something small. Even about the ministry. The gospel ministry. We preachers. We also do our best. For build good names. As Jesus Christ. He don't call us into the gospel ministry. Say we'll be co-laborers. May we preach the truth. Win souls. We too will fight very hard. For build good names. And for keep good legacy. Where would you read the Bible? Would you want to hear about people like Apostle Peter? Jesus be telling say, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. If he tell Peter, say, feed my sheep. Apostle Paul, Jesus be telling say, I will send you to the Gentiles. You will carry my name. You will carry my gospel to the Gentiles. An apostle probably worked very hard. These apostles, they work so that they die for the gospel, for keep truth. They preach truth so they die for the truth. They no be fear face. They no be longer for money. As Bible say, buy the truth and sell it not. They no be sell the truth for anything. They be stand for the truth so that they die for the truth. They keep a good legacy. They keep good names. Today, when people they bear Peter, bear Paul. Because the figures, the way they bear these names, they give good memories. They keep good legacy. If Apostle Peter be dirty that name, like no man no go one for bear him today. Like how Judas is carried will be dirty own. If Apostle Paul be dirty that name, no man no go like for bear that name today. You see? So at the talk say we preachers, even in the ministry, we are building names and we build legacies. Me while they preach, I they do my best. Say, may I preach truth, make I live holy, so that may generations to come, may they remember. Say, some pastor, every day inside Bamenda, where he do his best for preach the gospel of the kingdom. And the struggle, and that one, he find past money. If you preach diluted gospel, people can't give money. Nobody no go remember you for good in the future. They go remember you now like Judas is carrying on. We be sell Jesus. If you preach lie because you want money, you no go keep any good memories for subsequent generations about you.
You not go keep any good legacy. The highest thing we even we preachers we need for keep them na good name, good name. Now scripture talk. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Yes. When you read the book of Revelation, chapter two and three, you see how with some people the way they become many years, many years before the church it will be born. Jesus start begin to bring up their names for the evil things the way they be do. These people their name they, they come up because of the evil things the way they be do. My you example. Jesus be one the churches for Asia Minor. Say me they not follow the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Nicolaias, he be be now one of the deacons in the early church. Where they be really bring you out, say, assist in the ministry. Serve. May the kingdom of God be advanced. May souls be won. Nicolaias, he go start begin to preach once saved forever saved. Say, when you don't be saved, it no matter how you live, you know, feel lost salvation. And Nicolaias, now so he become up with a kind of group of people where they be just the swim in sin. Hey, Jesus won the church. Simon will not denounce the deeds of the Nicolaitans. You know, John Calvin, na Grand Pekin for Nicolaias, where he did teach unconditional salvation, he did teach once saved, forever saved. It did teach unconditional e e e eternal security. Say, it no matter what way you do. If God don't elect you, say you go be saved, you must be saved. Hey, Jesus warned them. Say, Nicolaias was a bad figure. Don't follow the teachings of the Nicolaitans. Nicolaias no be keep any good name. It no be keep any good legacy. Now, why that way Jesus himself warning the churches in the book of Revelation, Isaiah will not follow Nicolaias. Jesus talk about Jezebel. Isaiah will not follow the Jezebelites. Say Jezebel will be a figure of pride, it will be domineering, and it will be a prostitute. A woman where it is prostitute. Isaiah will not follow the Jezebelites because. The Jezebelites, they go seduce your church into sin. Jezebel, waking Ahab be go marry them. He no be keep any good name. Jezebel no be keep any good legacy. He no be keep any good thing where history go remember you day. Now why that way Jesus be the bring you up, use and warn the church. Let me say Jesus be the bring you up now for warn the church against evil. Jezebel be don't tie yourself to evil. Again, Jesus bring up another man, your teachings, and he bring up the mighty name. Balaam. The Balaamites, they be they. People where they follow Balaam. Their own way of life be being a deception. They get all kind of seductive methods for lure the church into sin. Weaken the fear of God in people. So that may they live in sin, may divine punishment come on them. Would remember what way Balaam be do. With the children of Israel in the wilderness. We be tell Balak. How for God deceive the Israelites. May they go commit idolatry and fornication. They go commit them. Then God the anger fall on them. They lose divine protection. About 1,600 years after. Jesus. He begin to tell. The churches the way they be there for Asia Minor. He begin to tell. They say. May we not follow the Balaamites. So Balaam. He no be keep any good name. He no be keep any good name. He no be keep any good legacy. History no remember Balaam for any good thing. If you be a preacher of the gospel, one of your highest thing for do, where even politicians, they go then learn from you. Now say what Keep a good name. Keep a good name. No be somebody like Tertullian. We be be the first man in history for talk say God be a trinity. Hey. No be somebody like Athanasius. When I get the highest creed on Trinitarianism. Now the people that that in history. Where they carefully redefine the God of the Bible with pagan terminology. Polish, Osiris, Isis and Horus. Plunge denominations into idolatry. 
Now evil figure did that. Be a man like Moses. When he come down from Mount Sinai with revelation. Hear O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Be a man like prophet Isaiah. Isaiah brings strong statements about who God be. Beside me there is no God. Before me there is no God. Be person way. You bring the revelation of God. Truth. Yes, be like the apostles. Declare Acts 2.38. Bring people to obey Acts 2.38. So that generations, they remember you for truth. No preach bad doctrine. No can introduce water, them will oil, them will rosary them. Bring all kind of paganism into the church. No be somebody will go originate the worship of Mary. No be somebody will go originate uh, uh, 25th of December. May the tongue start worship Saturnalia say that they worship Jesus. No be a figure behind all this idolatry. In the kingdom of God, keep a good name. We will remember Constantine. It's not for any good. Constantine was the first emperor for drag the church into paganism. Be a preacher where you go build on the foundation of the apostles, the prophets, and Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone, so that tomorrow, Subsequent generations, when they hear your voice, they will be blessed. When they see your material anywhere, read them, they will be blessed. When they hear about you from people, they will be blessed. No be somebody with a bad name. Don't build a bad legacy. Yes, I go back to our politicians. We did talk by this lesson, say, the highest thing where you, a politician, you can achieve is a good name, a good legacy. Because if you get a bad name, even your generations to come, they be cursed. Yes. I be yet some parliamentarian talk say, you know if you go back to your village, and the question be say, why? How politics go do make you, may you not day again with your people? How politics go separate you, you and your people? Be a politician where your people, they go like for hear your name. They go like forget your presence. Future generations go remember you. Yes. No gather money for projects for your community. You send your picking and they abroad. Buy a motor them. The worker you with them. Then mastermind the killing of people. Waste lives. Cause the jailing of people. The exile of people. That's no legacy. That's no name you are creating for yourself. Bible tell we say. A good name is rather to be chosen than riches. You feel take the people their money where they give me you build hospital. If you send your picking then they are brought. It like that picking then they are brought, they are cursed. You never keep any legacy for them. Those children cannot come back and be proud. Say their pa it be been a, a successful politician where it feed them with fine money. All mango deceive them. Say they be fed with bad money. And that picking them, they no go even one for even use your name for some place them. Because they know the evil image where you be built up. Bible be very correct. When God he talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than riches. Yes. Our politician then, we speak by the word of God. Be delivered from this materialism. Be delivered from the love of money. Be delivered from the love of popularity. Be delivered from the love of wealth. Be delivered from the love of power. Those things are not the best things for you. The best thing when you fit for achievement, it is a good name, a good legacy. Hear the word of the Lord tonight and let your heart be separated from Satan. The deception and the yoke of Satan on you, politician. You have been laboring day and night to achieve things that do not matter. But we speak to you, we address your heart and we call you out by the word of the Lord. Be separated. Keep a good name. Keep a good name and let your family and even many generations to come be blessed. Keep a good legacy. Let everybody attached to you, your village, your community, your country, make it be blessed by your service. No keep a bad name. Hey! No keep a bad name. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Like we we'll do yesterday, we get for open our telephone lines them. Go to people them as when they listen. When I go make comments on the scriptures, the word they read them. And no say God they inspire Wuna. 
We na get many other scriptures in. We will not fit for giam, for admonish, for encourage this our politician then. May they build for themselves great names. May they build good legacies. May they build good names. May they build good legacies. May they make things where history go remember them for good. Yes. May we not encourage them. May we not bring scripture. May we not bring prayer request. This is a serious thing in this land. Our politicians have to be delivered. Wait, wait, the things in a great achievement, no be achievement. How can you be achieving as a politician and you are robbing your name in mud? Your people cannot respect you. Your name is the bitter. Eh? They mention your name for some place. Now anger the rise in people. Hey, that is not a good achievement. That's not a good political achievement. When people want to hear about you, na, memories of lies, you will not fool them, say you go do the one. When they want to hear about bad things in the country, now your name they come up. No! Hey! Don't curse yourself and your generations and your picking them. No! As with the open telephone lines, may God the people come tonight. May we, we encourage our politicians. After the program yesterday, we thank God for the people the way they call. Now after the program, they glad plenty. Some of them are politicians and we understand. Say some of them, they don't want for openly come on air. It, it be very okay. The objectives of these lessons that say, may God work in your life. May you be transformed. May you get a clear Political vision. May you understand, say you not create yourself. The people where you the administer them, no be you create them. You go pass. The objective of this lesson now for help you, may you do your best. May you be a blessing. Like God be tell Abraham, say you will be a blessing. As David be be a blessing. As many others be be blessing to people. May you too, you be a blessing. Let us work together. God will move over this land. Things will never be the same again. What we have experienced, may we never experience it again in the name of Jesus. Let a new brand, a new generation of politicians rise in this land in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the word of God, we decree it. By the authority of the spirit of God in us, we decree it. There will be a revival in this land. The word of God will come as light on this land and the spirit of God will move and give life to every dry bone, to every dry and deceived politician. Oh God, Father, have your way in this land. Change our land. Papa, bring total transformation and deliverance. We have had enough of pain, oh God. What a curse that past generations of politicians have brought on the land. But today, as your word is coming and your spirit moving, oh God, deliverance is certain. King of glory, have your way. Have your way. We are praying for a generation of politicians that will have living consciences. Politicians that will fear the Lord. Politicians that respect human rights. Politicians who will make good names for themselves. Politicians that will keep good and godly legacies. Father, we thank you because when you decree a thing, it comes to pass. Lord, we trust you in the name of Jesus. We get two telephone number then. The first one, na 677 Six, seven, seven, four, three, nine, seven, three, one. We get another number again. We are six, nine, one, zero, one, eight, eight, six, three, six, nine, one, zero, one, eight, eight, six, three. Pastor Lucius, day on the line. Pastor Lucius, you be welcome. Good evening. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you for the wonderful program we the run up. We thank God, sir. For keep a legacy now, some very good thing because 
name them the representative. Correct. If you get bad names, now so we are generation. People will be fear. Uh -huh. Like if you look somebody like King Pharaoh, where you just made mention of, mm -hmm. when you talk about Pharaoh, even today people will be terrified because of the person where they be. So yes. I want to advise this politician then. Tell me the day like the king of Nineveh. Yes. When God will send Jonah, tell me he go preach for, for the people of Nineveh because of their wickedness. Bible talks about when Jonah will go preach for the Bible talks about the king will declare a fast. Correct. I will say they'll be fast, the people they'll be fast, even right down to the beach, from the great to the, the to the least. Mm -hmm. They'll be fast and God will avert the calamity where we gave for come for Nineveh. Correct. Some family be there for about food. He wanna give the 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 testimony and uh people them. They they know say bad name now some very bad thing way. If you day of you know keep a good legacy, it will ruin your family, it will ruin place you think them for people they are like. Yes. Some family be there for about food way for when somebody made mention of that family, all man is here. Hmm. If you bring somebody for that family, say you want marry for that family they say for this family, they even not this family, my hand on the day. Huh. Why? Because the family, if it they under a curse, because the head of the, fam the family, the person will not be fear you, God. Hmm. They make her now, the family, the terrible thing they will be doing, it cross now for you to begin the way you mention, when you talk about that family for the whole barefoot, no, all man they fear you for pass for that family because they will get a bad name, the head of the family. You know, to keep a legacy. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk for the politician and say, you know, but be too late. As they hear the word of God, we they repent like Co the king of Nineveh. Correct. And God will avoid the calamity where it be about to come. Thank you. I'll come back. God bless you, Pastor Lucius. Wonderful contribution. Okay, Brother Pius, you'll be welcome to the program. Oh, Pastor, good evening. All. Thank you, Brother Pius. Well, more grace, Pastor. We thank God. Well, I, I, I got plenty past of course the uh, program it don't make me to take plenty of you don't change amen uh, pastor honestly i don't know how we feel it really because this time we are dealing i will come for church i don't know although they say road for uh god not far mm -hmm. but the, the finances for transportation for me for the camp for day but one day one day I will come pastor. Amen. Where pastor, because all you are preaching pastor, you don't make me, I learn many things. Amen. And then you don't make me to, I know which way in the Bible. Amen. Because first time, me in person, I know the no Bible. But all the lectures, you don't make them, I know Bible now. We thank God. So pastor, continue to pray for we, so that we will change. And continue to pray for the land with problem they did now so pastor. I should pray this evening, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be and so I'll be touched because the problem they will face them now so pastor. Now only God, no human being to intervene, only God will intervene, Pastor. Yes. So bring me back and to make a move deal with the kitchen where they have pastor. We would cry we will deal with them now inside half with the cry, Pastor. So may God intervene. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, begin and go back for school, Pastor. We don't over cry. Yes. Because me and Palawan talk, so I deal with six of them from inside house. Like three years today, Pastor. Better no day. No way, no day, Pastor. So if this year again, Pastor, come again with them, no go again for school, Pastor. We don't know. Now only God, Pastor. Yes. Keep on pray, pray for we, Pastor. Yes. And for the entire population and for this land, Pastor. Thank yes. you very much. God bless you. Uh, Brother Pius Mad talks say anytime where you want for come, for meet up we, for counseling, for prayer, for the word of God, for fellowship, even if you no get transport, let us know. We feel always connect you with somebody way, it like for encourage somebody. Plenty people where they used to come fellowship with us for Glorious Life United Pentecostal Church here. Most of them know, say the day on a transport support program. Because some people they get very far distance. And we thank God. I use the opportunity for thank God for everybody. We don't be of financial push to the evangelism world. They do them. Plenty of people that day where they don't attend fellowship now because of your support. People that day where you don't clot them. You don't feed them. We want for talk say thank you for blessing people in the name of the Lord. Your reward 
it did with Jesus Christ and he know exactly how it go give you as when I hear this brother from you talk when I fit for feel the interest and with the pray say many others the way they did like he when they show up me will support them there is no other thing we will do on earth here we go please papa god and we go bring us eternal reward pass investing in the things of god and in people we'll be talk say one thing we satan don't do i'm destroy politician they didn't say wait politician they focus now on fame power money house motto nobody no go carry that thing they enter eternity jesus be talk say when he go return he go give some people some blessing and the people go ask he say lord what did i do that you are giving me such a blessing and jesus go tell them say i was in the hospital you came for me i was in prison you came for me i was in this uh, need or that need and you came for me and the people will say when where and jesus go talk say as you did it unto that brother sister you did it to me would he talk say politicians politicians most of when we not get money when the think say now for buy me bogey people they can begin to fly inside plane them all around begin to buy moto them pack on top someone them you will not go with any of those things you will not be rewarded by god for that kind of thing them invest in the lives of human beings some of wuna when god give wuna money say go tar road may all man benefit go tar the road when God give you money, say go build hospital, go build the hospital. When God your government give you money, say go put water for village, go put the water. Serve people, serve people. It is only when you serve people where God will recognize them. The only areas of investment where they bring blessing, na God and humans. No be God and motto, no be God and house. Serve people, serve people. Okay. Let me read these text messages. Them. The one talk say, I pray God will change my heart from being a wicked leader when I grow up in Jesus' name. God bless you for the program. We thank you for the text. Even though your name no day day, we encourage Simu to identify ourselves. This one talk say, Good evening, Pastor. It's Brother Silvanus from Bengui Park. I love the program. Keep up. It has brought some change in my life. Brother Silvanus, we thank God. You call and say some change. But in our prayer, say may God take you forward. May take you deeper. May take you higher in spiritual things, in relationship with God, and in a practical Christian life. Okay. This one talks say, Good evening, Pastor. We sincerely wish you God's richest blessings on your milestone message. Our politicians and warmongers make good names for their generation. Rogers, Upstation. God bless you, Brother Roger. Thank you for the text. Now, some people, they do they, they, they vex when people, they, they pray for us like this. But we go talk, say, no vex. It take na the prayer of God people like this from their sincere hearts. For keep we to going. We the face to a lot of challenges. Even for stay on air like this for broadcast. It did take a lot of sacrifice from people. It did take a lot of challenges. Why not even mention them for air? But the prayer we listeners that they pray for us sincerely. Now that prayer to the sustain we. Bible say pray one for another. And I thank God because when they pray for us. When you listen, you will hear plenty of people say more grace. We encourage. May we not pray for us. We did do the work of God together. The trouble with they on the land now all we the face them. No be for pastor them alone. As we all would listen, the contributions that they come in. So we are collectively doing the work of God. The vision with the sheram, the burden with the sheram. We go to pray passionately and with direction. And God, it go take over. God go take over. Yes. My read the text. It says, Good evening, Pastor. I'm Sister Mary. I thank God for using you to preach this powerful message. My contribution to this message is from Psalms 101 verse 8. Day after day, I will destroy the wicked in our land. I will expel all who are evil from the city 
of the Lord. Thank you, Sister Mary, for giving such a scripture from the psalm. And we understand, said the way we will eliminate the wicked, no be by physical warfare, not by spiritual warfare. This message is that it come with the intercession, not spiritual warfare. And by this, we go eliminate evil in the land. Yes. Okay, we get another text message. It says, my pastor, more grace and more wisdom. I thank you. Now, brother, innocent for my servant. God bless you, our brother. We did talk today now about a politician with a good name and a good legacy. Hello? Yes, good evening, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to thank God for giving you the grace for stand and preach the truth to the world. We thank God. Yeah, because we are the preacher, not the truth about this word of God. Amen. Because some people that they think they say, wait till you the preacher, that they the focus then on church. Mm. But I just know me say, wait till you the preacher, not the word of God. And God will end up for judge winner by his word. Amen. So I just want to pray say me you keep up with, the, with that very spirit. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for the prayer. The politician with a good name, Aloma. Welcome, ma. What do you for the Bible? Yes. Job there is job not be put the heart for the children for this war. Yes. People die die also this and they fight to cause the heart and death of the things of the war. Yes. Job property then job to see them. Job be friend me because God died. But he says it. Job be so naked, he became this one, like a year, go back. Mm -hmm. So he had not been there for the children, but he was only people would take example for, for Job for Bible. Yes. Yes. May our hearts be separated from the things of the world. Because Bible talks, say, longer for the things of the world. Now you were sat and they passed through. For take some people, start use them. Use people for carry out evil works because the people they gain longer for the things of the world, especially in the domain of politics. When person don't hold tight to power, it go do everything with Satan telly for keep power. It go lie. It go thief even election. It go kill your friend. It go imprison people. Do all kind things. If it get longer for power. If person get longer for money, if he decide for thief money where it belong to the whole community, where if, if the money for build school, build hospital, build roads, may all my enjoy him, he go take him for ye and your family. Longer for the things of the world. So with the talk say, may our politician then, may they take the counsel of the Lord, build a good name, build a good legacy, the things of the world, the things of the world, they the expire. But if you serve God and you serve people, it will give you eternal rewards. And your generations, they will be blessed. Your picking, they will be blessed. Yes. We get this text from uh, Evangelist Tande. It's a good evening, Pastor. The Bible says in Proverbs 14, 34, that righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. I wish to say that your messages are coming from God and are not falling on deaf ears. On that day, no politician in Cameroon will say that they did not know. The gospel is hitting politicians, false Christians, and every other person in the community. More grace on you, Pastor. Thank you very much, Evangelist. I like some statement where you make them for here. Where you talk, say, the message, in know, they fall on deaf ears. In know, they fall on deaf ears. I believe so much in the God way he sent us for work. We don't get any other weapon than the word where he put them in our hands. The Bible saying a two-edged sword. He talks, say, when we give them out, God didn't take responsibility for use that word. 
It no the phone on deaf ears. I glad for some people where they say, say they no be no way to wait because them for the twin radio. They just fall on the word of God. Now God the one for reach you. It is not a mistake. It is not a coincidence. It is a divine appointment. A divinely orchestrated something. May you fall on the frequency. May you get the word. May you be tuned in this evening. And if you hear the word of God, harden not your heart. Let it transform you. Let it change your life as a politician today, as a preacher, that you build a good name, you keep a good legacy. Yes, no wave that word. Because if you wave them, if you wave them, you will qualify yourself for God's punishment. You will write your name on the list of people to be punished by God. But with prayer, now say you no go harden your heart. You go receive the word. For your transformation. The people of this land are crying. People are crying. You and me would be on this frequency now so. Some people no get this chance for fit she don't on their radios. For listen with when me and you hear. Pass for hospital. See how they bandage people. Some people they don't lose their lives. So when they lose parts of their bodies. I see some people where they blow at their face them. Disfigure them all. You look there enough you know saying a human being that. Where now this particular wickedness where it come into the land because of how Satan take over the hearts of politicians. People are suffering. Someone they no get chop. Evangelist Kenneth Robert, welcome. Hello, good evening, Pastor. Evangelist, you'll be welcome to the program. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, my own contribution for the uh, nice program, now for the area politics and then. I think there's plenty of politicians they, they do wrong just because of the captivity of seeing where Adam and Eve they be plunged human being inside. Then some of the politicians then, maybe only for the administrative politicians, even for some traditional politicians then, yes. then they, they enter that same error, they order entire wrong way, they, they do other wrong in them. For them, for some of them, nobody say the minimum. As Apostle Paul be talk for Romans seven say the right thing where it no say supposed to do, if they see said do not the wrong thing where he no be supposed to do. Yes. Then if the Christ has some power with the entire and if the Christ say who go deliver you and at the end if they na only just can be a rebel, deliver man. Plenty of the politicians then they did he can say inside this strange force. And where they belong to church denomination. So mm-hmm. one of the target thing we see to the prayer may God in heaven now for deliver them from false doctrine. Yes. And we thank God as glorious like God told you and other people they they, they God don't they don't reveal the truth, the keys of the kingdom. Because imagine this Plenty people as the first doctrine if you don't corrupt the world, mm. how these people where they belong to that denomination they will be the light of the world. How that people then where they belong to that denomination they will be the soul of the earth. He said they, they will they get to be now the active because yes. that wrong doctrine is no good give up and people where they belong to that denomination where they feel wrong doctrine. Yes. They be sinners. They are saying they'll never be remitted. Me say the the power of sin. Things to get power over their life. Mm-hmm. So, uh, as the program they come up, I know that it will first plenty people, and make plenty people the same Christianity as religious leader them. But they know say the people who uh, are politicians and because they know Jesus Christ no day over their life so rule for the right way and value the man being. Uh, they damage the way it happens. It will come, some of the uh, religious responsible, they will come uh, pay the price because if they teach them true doctrine, no man on his own, you know, see, challenge things, they never be stronger than man. Yes. But the man accepts Jesus Christ, may Jesus Christ take over his life and be capacity and ability to do right things. Correct. So you will see people, any man who claim a be system, you even enter for some forces. You will see person here don't try God's self message him all around. He will tell you, even take picture of a big man, mm-hmm. hang up for war, hang for a religious leader. At the end, he will see that power of things will see the rule over him. Yes. Because of the wrong doctrine. Mm-hmm. So, 
small grace and may God help me. Jesus name. Thank you, Evangelist. We get this text message from Sister Stacy. It talks say, Greetings to you all. I thank you for allowing God to use you. I pray every politician listening to you won't harden his or her heart, but will repent and change. More grace, Pastor. Thank you very much, Sister Stacy. Uh, something they hear inside First Chronicles chapter 17 from verse 1, we are going to like for bring our attention to. And as we did discuss, feel free for use those telephone numbers. Then. You call, you text. May we continuously uh, encourage our politician then for take the right track. And today we did talk now, say, wait, may they build good names. May they keep a good legacy. Wait, history will remember them for. Because Proverbs 22 verse 1 talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 1. It say a good name is better than precious ointment. Okay. I go back now to that first Chronicles chapter 17 verse 1. It talks say now it came to pass as David sat in his house that David said to Nathan the prophet. David be big king. If she don't they talk with Nathan the prophet. Who be be a prophet? A prophet, na God ye mouthpiece, na God ye messenger, na the person where they bring the mind of God. We mean say King David beget as ye advisor, as ye guide, a man of God, a prophet of God. We want for bring to the attention of our politician them. Say when you gather your party members, you get for be careful. All of those people are humans and they get self-interest. They, they play this who kind of politics where they say scratch my back and scratch your own. They did it for scratch, scratch back them. Forget their interest. But seek the face of God. Pray to God. Seek God. And before you know it, God will bring his voice into your life. However he want for bring up. And it go help you through your political career. Some of wuna, we wuna don't become politicians wuna the backslide from spiritual life because wuna the one for do dirty politics. The fact say you see some your predecessors that they do dirty politics, no means say you to go do dirty politics. The fact say you see people that they, they do lie lie politics, killing people to go to the top, lying to go to the top, it no means say you to go do that kind of politics. You can have a clean political career. And maybe you know go run fast the way we, the worldly man they run. But you go go in godliness and God go give you godly promotion. There are godly politicians. Daniel, he be be a captive, an Israelite, where they be taking go for Babylon as a captive. But at the end, Daniel, ye faithfulness to Yahweh, it because even Nebuchadnezzar for recognize a clean spirit in Daniel and Daniel will become one of the best governors in the kingdom of Babylon. He finally served the Medes and the Persians also. Why? Because he be trust in God and God will give you promotion even in a Gentile kingdom. I want we for understand you politician sat and don't use some other politician they for tell you say a Christian a God fearing person cannot succeed in politics that's a lie they will be talk so so that make it completely claim all politician they use them like a tool for bring destruction in the land until we see some politician them when you want for advice then they tell you say go stay for church say carry a Bible go stay for church say inside politics we know they read Bible now devil don't fool them who tell you, say, as a God-fearing person, as a Christian, you cannot be a politician. You can be a Daniel-like politician. Look the way where Daniel be there. They be give Daniel chance for it on the king's table. Daniel deny you for chop. He deny a privilege. If you be a godly politician among ungodly politicians, you know go use their kind of privileges. They go give you privileges for take bribe. They go give you privileges... For gain position the wrong way, 
but deny all of those things. Like how would Daniel be denied the king he chop? Okay, they can't tell Daniel, say, you must bow to the image of Nebuchadnezzar. You must worship a strange god. Daniel say, okay, me wanna kill me. I'll be ready for that if wanna want to me, I worship idol. Daniel talk say, I no go enter a court. You know, we hear something where really it happen inside our political domain. With some politician then, they must enter some particular courts before they succeed in politics. Say they must become homosexuals before they get success in politics. You can be a successful, God-fearing politician where you don't enter those things. Daniel no be bowed to the image of Nebuchadnezzar. It no be bowed. It be same gonna kill me. They take Daniel. They put her inside the den of lions. God protect Daniel because Daniel stood for the truth. We want for talk say if you become a godly politician, God will back you. God will back you. The feet tell you say you no go get promotion. Wait for the right promotion. Promotion when a Satan give him, you go pay him with your soul. Wait for God your own promotion. It may be they no go pay you high money. Begin to take the small one. Like how Daniel be denied that kind of privileges the way they be come with sin. It be denied. We get Joseph. He served in the kingdom of Egypt. Next to the president. Next to Pharaoh. He be thief. He be lie. He be enter court. He be worship wrong God for God to power. No. Yahweh lifted him. Yahweh promoted him from prison. From a very low condition. To a governor in Egypt. As a godly politician, we are encouraging every politician embrace Christ with the commitment to practice Bible principles in politics. God will back you. You will do the will of God. You will make a good name in politics. You will keep a good legacy. History will remember you for good. Yes. Nobody will stand for God. He will ever be abandoned by God. God no be abandoned Daniel. He no be abandoned anybody will go commit himself for do godly politics. God no be abandoned Joseph. He no go abandon any politician will submit his life to Christ. No matter how much they threaten you. No matter how much they will reduce what way you earn. No matter how much your promotion will delay. No matter how much people think say you know they succeed. Do but the will of God. Let your blessings come from God and Him alone. Yes. I'll read this text message. It says, Good evening, Mr. Isidore. It's good to hear you preaching on change, which is good. But I wish to say that change starts from within. You should first change from lies telling, false claims, pretense, etc. You should teach by example, not just by words of mouth. How different are you from those you are preaching to? Okay. You said they preach lies telling. You said they preach false doctrine. Well, I leave you and God. The thing what God just tell you now say, since we'll be starting the program, the people of God day in the spirit of prayer, we day in the spirit of intercession for the land. Now don't know where the devil don't come in. You know, even put your name for here. Because you know what way you do. And they can't think they so. Now pastors, they will preach that they ever do them. And we know one. <laughs> okay. More go forward. Madam, why you be welcome. If you read the book of First uh, Kings chapter 22, you will speak in Ahab for today. I think you will find, find comfort. You know, with the great salvation, you will find safety when the false prophet is going to prophesy this about you. Plenty of politicians, they, they don't go for some this false prophet. They go going to find safety for the instead for great salvation. They will instead for lead the people of God for the way where God will want them to lead them. So you've been like Messiah, where did you keep the voice of God? The thing Ahab, it will be stubborn. And this kind of people, where they come for this trap, no mind about them, because for them, they define us, they define us, now na- come for, they define us, safety, not salvation. Yes. And if they become where they will be answerable to God. Correct. So you've been at the Messiah, continue for, for, for preach the truth, and the truth will prevail, and the people of God will be saved. Thank you. Okay, Pastor. Okay. We'll be the talk about 
the fact that King David, even though he begat plenty others, with the advice on how to manage the economy of Israel, manage the military of Israel, and many other aspects, King David begat very close to himself the prophet Nathan. And we know many encounters the way King David begat him with this particular prophet Nathan. In fact, now a prophet be anointed for become king, Saul. And then Nathan be, be very close again when King David be done, come to the throne and a lot it will go on. Our politicians, you can succeed in the will of God. If you are seeking God with your heart and you humble to him, forgive you a successful political career, God will give you a voice where he will lead you through your political career. A voice where it will be genuine. A voice where it will get the authority for rebuke you when you go wrong. Like how will David be seen? Nathan no be spared. Nathan become rebuke. Him. And time will David be do correct thing? Nathan to become and he be commend David. That means he be glad with David. He be talk good of what way David he be do. When he talk say if you want for do politics in the will of God, seek God genuinely. God go bring a voice into your life. With that voice go guide you through your career. Take note and repeat. It no must be your denomination. It go be a voice of God where it go get the authority where it go teach you, it go rebuke you, it go correct you, and it go instruct you in righteousness. Yes. For keep you in the will of God in your political career. We get this text message from Evangelist Emma. Good evening, Pastor. God bless you for this touching message. I pray that our politicians should listen to this radio program and get born again through Acts 2.38 for the transformation of their heart and it will be well with citizens. God bless you. Thank you very much, Evangelist, for this wonderful text. Say may our politicians they become born again. May their lives they be transformed. It will be well with them and it will be well with the citizens. Okay, we get this one from Madame Fon, Edith. He talks a good evening, Pastor. I am very glad this topic came up again. I really pray that the power of God through this message changes the hearts of Cameroonian politicians in the name of Jesus. May the Lord keep on strengthening you. Thank you very much for the prayer. Okay, we get Evangelist Diffon Francis. Thank you, Evangelist. We thank God, sir. I, I, I don't want to talk something. When you, people they hear you preach, they say, "Oh, you are false gods." Now, because the little friend knows that this is a trinity, you come from. Not true. God don't bring you for parmenda. You don't open for the about trinity. They don't put hospital trinity, college trinity, uh, institution system. Now, not. They did not say all these things in our lives. Yes. Why did they, they just come out here? That's so. God never spare Miriam when it for Moses for mm. Numbers chapter 12. And you never spare any man who will attack you. Keep on, Pastor. He shall be well with you. Thank you, Evangelist, for the encouragement. Thank you very much for the encouragement. Whatever you get um, on your heart, a scripture, uh, something for help our politicians, they encourage them. Make them know, say they can do politics in the will of God. The truth now say, most of them they work with very bad ideologies. They don't tell most of them, say you cannot serve God as a politician. But that is a lie from hell. You know, say when devil want for claim person, use the person so devil defeat ye with wrong information. Yes. It's just like, if you seek, they tell you, say, you can never be well. You not go make any effort. You not go make any effort. When devil don't tell politicians, say, there is no God-fearing politician. What did they mean? They mean that say, just give your soul to the devil. May devil use you. Now for them, you receive politicians the way they lie without any restraint. Kill people without restraint. Do things the way they be unimaginable. Because they don't tell them, say, once you become a politician, you don't become now a son of Satan. Say you and God no get any business. But would they challenge that ideology by the word of God? 
there were people who were in political systems in the Bible and they succeeded. They succeeded. Daniel succeeded. Joseph succeeded. David succeeded. You can succeed in the will of God. You can build a good political career. You can keep a good name. You can keep a good legacy. We sound it again. You can keep a good legacy. You fit for repent. You know, when King David been commit sin as a king, he be repent. One of the points that will be get inside the lesson I say will be contrast David here and King Saul. The problem with King Saul, he be get and I say, when he sin, he not repent. But David, he be sin and he repent. A godly politician, he no mean I say na somebody way, he no fi get one failure or the other. But na say ye God fearing heart, he go make him maybe the politician way, even if he sin against God and the people, he go repent. Like how will David be repent? Yes. He go be somebody where even if he don't cause harm on the nation, if they don't tell him a dialogue, he go dialogue. A God-fearing politician na the one way, if he don't talk lie and he discover, say he don't talk lie to the nation, he go come back and correct him. David, he be repent. So we talk say a godly politician is the one that can repent. Somebody way when he don't see your mistake, he admit him. We get this text message from the Emmanuel. He said, God bless you, Pastor, for making yourself available for God to use. I must admit that constantly following your teaching is far enriching, which is likened to a full Bible school program. I really wish the political family could create time to follow. It will work out miracles and bring absolute living consciences into the political scene. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much, Dick Emmanuel, for this rich text. Yes, na our prayer that, na our prayer that, say whether na whichever means where Papa God go cause these people for hear ye word, where he go arrest their consciences and transform them. May Papa God it do them. Now why that we will not only teach, but with the pray, with the accompany them, with intercession, with the speak against the powers of darkness, where they don't distract the people, with the rebuke they may they give way, may they come in contact with the word of God, may the Almighty make it catch their attention, arrest their hearts and transform them so that peace go come in the land. Yes. Thank you again, Dick Emmanuel, for this text. We talk, say, the lesson it be based on Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. It talks, say, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. We mean, say, as a politician, may your first achievement not be na money, may not be na motor den for the worker inside, may not be na houses where you build them here and there, may not be na power where you exercise them, May your first political achievement be na a good name, a good legacy. The program be start so. I be talk about a man. Where he be tell a certain president. Say consider your legacy. Consider witty. We go be your legacy. Witty. History go remember you for. Very important. You must ask yourself, see the generations to come, they will remember you for what? I be give example, Osama bin Laden, when you mention you inside America, picking them with adults, they shake. Even people, the way they burn them after the incident of 9-11, they shake. Because the name, they bring terror. We talk, say, when you keep a good name, it will be a blessing even to your children. Yes. When you keep a good name, it will be a blessing even to your children. You're picking the go-go someplace. Some people hear only your name. That picking they start earn some favor. People start bless them. People start give them opportunities. Say, hey, we don't see so-so and so person you picking. Hey, we don't see so so and so person in Peking. We get this text from Sister Providence. It said, Good evening, Pastor. I'm Providence. 
comfort you with this scripture concerning that brother who called and was accusing you of preaching lies. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. Sister, thank you for the encouragement. Brother Raymond, day for line. You'll be welcome, our brother. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you, sir. More grace. Thank you. I just wish say if about five or ten pastors that be fit dead for this country where they feel preach like you for this our politicians say they will surely change. Because I do believe say most of their churches the way that they attend them. Now these churches the way that they repeat prayer. That they just go they, 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 they just go repeat them prayers. They're not they tell them where to where they're supposed to do. They're not they tell them how to follow God. They carry people their money, carry people their money where they, 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 they can't, can't put them for their basket. They take and chop them. So they're not the, they, they only pray for them. They don't pray for them. They don't bless them. They come and go. If they if you pray, they preach this kind, if this kind of preaching is where you, you preach for them. So if they get about 10 pastors the way they feed the preach all over the, the country, Maybe they be listening and so that most of them will change. So the only thing I was talking and say, no matter how people they can stand criticize you or curse you or talk any bad thing for you, may they know say that they carry that they are cursed from God. And I just wish you good luck, Pastor, and more grace. God bless you. Thank you very much, Brother Raymond. Now very good desire that Semi preach as the day with the fit for preach for Trinity, uh, whether for politicians. Yes, also for Trinitarians. May they change. And I go assure you, brother Raymond, say the preach as the day. The day. We we'll pray and now now say, may God give them opportunities. May they preach the day. So, we don't be talk now about politicians with good names and legacies. Yes. When they talk, say somebody, he get a good name. Now because he keep a good legacy. When we we'll be study lesson, we'll look at a good father, Abraham, will be a man of great legacy. Yes. With three main religions of the world. Oh, they feel very blessed whenever they hear of this father, Abraham. Until mostly we Christians, we just sing and say, Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Now because say Abraham, he be true, true, keep a legacy. And he no be keep this legacy not through a smooth walk. Life no be, be very gentle with Abraham. A lot of challenges they be there. But through the ups and downs, Abraham, he be, be able for keep a legacy. God be calling, so first of all, tell you, say, leave your family. You are going to lose your country. Leave and just follow me. Abraham, leave all eating them. He go. Hunger, it threaten ye. But in all this, Abraham, he hold tight to the plan of God. He hold the plan of God. Stand for day. Abraham through ups and downs, he be keep a legacy. God he test Abraham in different ways, and Abraham he go through all the challenges, go through all the tests. He keep a legacy. He keep a land for you picking them. Above all, he keep a covenant of salvation for you picking them and the whole world. And today, me and you, we the enjoy salvation in that legacy where Abraham he keep him. We the talk today say. You can be an Abraham. Hello? You'll be welcome. You'll be welcome. I don't need man, more, more grief. Thank you, sir. No, God. I don't need listen to your program right for a long time. So it interests me, but I don't know the and my first time for call today. Okay. I want you to talk to you. I like your, your preaching and your doctrine, the way the doctrine is today. We thank God. You are always strong, strong, you hold the work fine. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, Ragolov. Okay. Ma read this text message. It said, without a good example, all your preaching remains noise that you are making. 
If actually you are of God, your radio and programs would have improved for over two years now. Yet you are still dangling with Trinity all this while. Yet you keep saying things you know nothing about and tell lies without shame. Okay. Uh, you know still put your name where you should say you be a very irresponsible person. You seem for be an agent of Satan where you want for stand in the way of godly people. Now, when you come on programs, say your name for proof how responsible you are. You the talk say Trinity. Trinity is of the devil. Any church where believe say God be three persons, that's not a biblical church. It is not worshipping the God of the Bible. Hear it and hear it good. The father of Trinity is an Italian, Tertullian. The person we define Trinity, we will not study your books and articles, na Athanasius. That's the history. And with the talkam and with the continuously talkam, Trinity is not of God. You no get no proof. You get na insults for Giam. And you the only talk say the talk lie. I be wait for you for bring up the thing the way you say I the lie day. You don't bring up na Trinity. Bring up some other thing the way you say I the lie day. And if I be being a you, and for the bring biblical proof, we show say Trinity be of God. And I will tell you politician, they say, even inside politics, when you want for do good politics, now so devil they go come. They go tell you, say you cannot do good politics. Say you must sell your soul to the devil. Say you must lie to get to the top. Say you get for must kill to get to the top. Say you get for scratch on my back, may scratch your own. Now so the language of politics will be inspired by Satan. Now, so it discourage godliness inside politicians. But by this lesson today, we would don't the study them. Would they challenge every voice of Satan? And would they tell politicians, they say, try the Lord. And you will not say the Lord is good. Do politics in the fear of God. You will keep a good name and a good legacy. Your family and generations after you go be blessed. Your community go be blessed. Your nation go be blessed. I give a political example. Nelson Mandela, the world, the celebrity, they can celebrate you. And more to that, if the earth is celebrate you, heaven can celebrate you. Where that one go also mean say that the salvation of your soul. Fear God. Do things in the will of God. Apply divine principles in your political career. And you will succeed in politics. You will keep a good name. You will keep a good legacy. Now we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the power of God to enforce every word that has gone through this frequency tonight. We bring down the powers of evil politics and we decree that the Lord is taking over this land. This land will never be the same. We rebuke every spirit that has corrupted our political domain. We rebuke the powers of evil politics and we release the anointing of God to take over the land. Papa, take over the land. We welcome you. We need a political healing on this land. And Papa, we are sharing these biblical principles because we want our hearts to change and come to you in repentance. Lord, we cannot count, but you as an omniscient God, you can count the number of hearts in this town that are already connected in the spirit of prayer right now. You can count the number of persons in this town that are in the spirit of intercession for this evil to be taken away over our land. Papa, we pray in the name of Jesus that Lord arise. Papa, descend on this land. You have never failed a people that depend on you. You answer prayer. Papa, we pray that may your power shake the political domain of this land to its core. Let things change. Let things change. Let that which political institutions around the world have not done. Let your power begin to bring solutions this time around. Papa, let there be a change. Whoever has stood as a strong man, we pray that you will arrest them for repentance and conversion in the name of Jesus. Those that have decided to lie to the end, we pray you arrest them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Papa, I pray you wipe the tears of your people that are in bushes right now. Those that are with wound and reduced body parts in the hospitals. Papa, we pray you wipe their tears. Even those families that are weeping, that have lost their homes and villages, Papa, we pray you comfort them. In 
Especially displaced persons, Papa, we pray you comfort them. Children that are out of school, Papa, we pray you keep them. Lord Jesus, we pray, even those that have embraced evil, oh God, that have received hearts to murder, we pray, Papa, that you Transform them. Take away such evil hearts from them, O oh God. Let peace and security, justice return to this land in the name of Jesus Christ. King of glory, we cry out to you tonight. We call on your name, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Prince of Peace. Let this land have a taste of your peace in the name of Jesus. Papa, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you. We thank you for the grace you have given us on this program this evening. Bless your people in their homes. They are interceding along with us here in the studio. We pray you keep them in the spirit of prayer. May they not get tired in praying, oh God, until your hand has moved through and across this land in the name of Jesus. Bless everyone with sound sleep this night. Bless them with health. Bless them with protection in the name of Jesus. Amen.